Have I watched a few new shows? Yes, I have. Am I going to tell you my thoughts? Yes, I am. Lover Stalker Killer on Netflix. This is a wild ride. This is probably one of the most interesting documentaries I've seen in a long time. Just when you think you've seen it all, you watch something like this and you're like, how on earth? How on earth? I mean, just when you think you've figured, you know, the whole thing out, plot twist after plot twist after plot twist. This was so good. I don't want to tell you too much about it, but it is about a man who is recently divorced, trying to find love again, tries online dating, and the rest is history. I'm going to let it, I'm just going to let you figure it out from there, but I do highly recommend watching. It's a quick watch. It's only like an hour and a half, so you can easily watch this um, in an evening, um, but I do think it's, it's bizarre. If you're not into crime, but you love love, I highly suggest watching One Day, but if you are not emotionally stable, do not watch one day because everybody on here is like, don't watch it, don't watch it. I had to watch it. And when I, I saw it, I just, yeah, it emotionally destroyed me, like destroyed me. I'm still just having a hard time looking at this photo of them. I mean, Emma and Dexter, ooh, what a story, a roller coaster of emotions. Dexter is everything. I fell in love with his character. I just... Oh, when he cries, I just want to cry with him. It was just a lot, um, but it's such, it's such an amazing story. And I think it's something that we all should watch. It really changes the way you look at life. Um, I thought it was well done. So this is highly recommended Netflix, 10 out of 10. I have a bone to pick with people that say Gilmore Girls is their comfort show. What do you find comforting about this show? I just, I want to know. I'm going to give you a second to answer. Um, I don't find this show comforting at all. Maybe it's because it's my first time watching it, but Rory Gilmore, ooh, season five. I just finished season five. It was a hard season for me with Rory. I, I just I had to take a lot of breaks because she just, she got to me. Her and Lorelai, they just, I don't get it. I don't get why people love this show so much. They both drive me bananas. You know, just when I start to like Lorelai, she does something that's very immature and it gets on my nerves. And I'm like, really? Like, you're the adult. You're the adult. It's like she forgets. And I, I know it's because she's a teen mom. She didn't fully grow up. I totally understand all of that. But I just think now Rory's not a little girl anymore. She's not in high school. She's in college. She's an adult. And this is just, this relationship just, it's a lot. So yeah, if this is your comfort show, I'm dying to know why. This will never be my comfort show. I will never rewatch after I finish the series, but I am going to get through it. I am on season six. I'll let you know what I think of that just because I've heard so many mixed things about these shows and their seasons, but I've started it and I'm going to finish it. What are you watching? Let me know in the comments and have you seen any of these that I've just given you reviews on?